Okie dokie. Hopefully this works. I'm not going to lie. I just recorded a whole video, 15 minutes long, but you couldn't even hear my voice. I'm pretty excited right now. Okay, anyway, let's try this again. I'm going to have to go th through this kind of fast. It's only going to let me record for 15 minutes. Um, I'll probably just do one segment, the triangle, and the one circle. And if we have more time, I'll go back and do another one. Um, so we have line segment AB and line segment A prime B prime. So keep in mind, A prime B prime came second uh, because it has the primes. So I know my segment's getting larger. Um, the, the reason this is different than yesterday is because now I have the pre-image and the image, and I need to find the center of dilation and the scale factor. Um, remember, the scale factor is just how much bigger the segment got in this example. So there's a couple ways to do this. And we talked in class yesterday that um, we can use Pythagorean theorem and figure out how long these segments are. So let me show you something. If I were to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? That's 9 up. And then write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I could do Pythagorean theorem and do 9 squared plus 9 squared equals c squared and figure it out how long a prime b prime is. And you may have to do that on the air test, but we don't have to take it that far for this. Let me show you why. So let me make the same triangle. So in this one, I'd only have to go up 3 and over one, two, three. I draw just as good as straight lines, like with my mouse as I do on the board. Um, some of you guys are probably already like, I see what the scale factor is, or sometimes they call it the dilation factor. Um, you just have to be careful, because some of you might think it's three, some of you might think it's one third. So remember, whenever you do scale factor, to do the scale factor or dilation factor, you always have to do the new shape or the image divided by the old shape or the pre-image. So in this particular example, our new image, let's just say I use this side here. The up and down, the vertical side is 9. That corresponding side in our pre-image, the old shape, is only 3. So I would do 9 divided by 3. So my scale factor, or they like to say k, is 3. So that means that my shape got three times bigger. Or in this case, my segment got three times bigger. So that's the one new piece you have to be able to do today. The other one, and that's the dilation factor, or the scale factor. The other one is thinking about where was that flashlight, that projector that projected this little one and made this big one. And you can kind of like start guesstimating. Like you know it's gonna be somewhere around here, right? Not over here, but somewhere in this, this fourth quadrant. Um, I'm going to show you one way to do it, and I probably won't do it like this on a single other one, but this works. It just, it has flaws if you can't draw straight lines like me. Um, so what you do is you always go big shape to little shape, and you draw a line from the corresponding points. So like B prime to B to B. And then I would draw another line from A prime to A. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me. And this is why I don't do it this way. All right, there we go. So it went from B prime to B and A prime to A. And you can see that this intersection here is at the coordinate 1, negative 4. That is our center of dilation. So you could simply draw two lines, and where they cross is your center of dilation. Now, if you're no good at drawing straight lines, like me, um, and if sometimes it's not always pretty, like it could be at 3.5 or something, and you might just think, oh man, I drew my line wrong, when really no, it was at 3.5 or something. Um, so that's just, you can do it or just like use it to help you. Um, the way you do it is you're going to use slope. So you always go, like I said, big to little. So you're going to count your slope. So to get from A prime to A, I'd go down 1, 2, over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I went down 2 and over 6, which reduces to 1 over 3. So I'm going to go down 1 over 1, 
two, three. Then I'm going to do it one more time. Down one over one, two, three. And this is one of those things where like almost like graphing a line. You can do it for as long as you want. We're looking for that intersection. So if I do the same thing, again, I'm going big to little, and I plot the points from big B down to little b, I'd have to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, my slope is just down 8, um, left or right, nothing. I don't run any. So you can't reduce that. So you would just continue that going down. Well, look at that. My green and my pink overlapped right there. So that is, in fact, my center. So your center is always a coordinate. And this was the same spot my other lines crossed at. So your center is right one, down one, two, three, four. So your next little portion of this would be to write that the center of dilation is at the coordinate, right one, down four. Ooh, answer. So that's... That's what they're asking you today for those two pieces. You would do the same thing for this next segment. I'm just going to tell you the answers um, and see if you can do these on your own for the sake of my recording time. You should get that the center's at 0, 0. You should get that the scale factor, or K, is 2. No, that's a lie. It's obviously getting smaller, Miss Rasfield. It's a half, so it's half the size it was. Okay. So see if you can get that. And then the next one. So triangle, same kind of thing. We know I started at LMN and I got bigger. So my scale factor should be a number greater than one. So pick two sides. It doesn't matter which two you pick, whichever two make you happy. And you're gonna make the little triangle. So let's just say I chose to do LM. I would have to rise one, two, three. And I would have to go over one, two. If I did that same thing with L prime, M prime, you have to use the same corresponding side. I go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, over one, two, three, four five, six. So up nine and over six. So again, some of you are probably like, well, duh, I see the scale factor. And that's good. Um, it wouldn't matter which side you looked at, just use sides that go together. Make sure you do the new divided by the old. So I'd have to do the nine divided by three, because those go together. That would work. Nine divided by three, we know is three. We could have also chosen to use the tops of our triangle and done 6 divided by 2. Regardless, you get that your scale factor is 3. So my triangle got 3 times bigger. To get the center of dilation, we do the slope. Remember, go to the big shape to the little shape. So if I count my slope from L to L prime, let's see what I get. I'd go up 1, 2, 3, four, five, six. So up six over two. Six over two reduces to three over one. So up three over one. Up three, I feel like I counted it wrong. Three, four, five, six, one, two. Nope, up one, two. I did, I only counted two, finished up. So up three, over one would put me here. If I could do it again, up three over one, I would, but I'm gonna go off my graph, so I'm just gonna stop there. Let me erase this dot I accidentally made. Okay, we don't need that three anymore anyway. So that's going from L to L. So I went up six over two, which reduced to up three over one. Then I'm gonna do, let's just say N to N. You change colors. So I'd have to go up one, two, three, four, over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I went up four over ten. Four over ten reduces to two over five. So now I'll go up two over one, 
two, three, four, five. Look at that, I landed on that green dot. So this is my center of dilation. Wherever like all the lines cross, I checked the M just to be on the safe side, but you only go left six, which doesn't reduce. So if you were to just continue that path, it would also hit. So this is my center of dilation. So the coordinate for that is left seven and up eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that in. So my center of dilation is at the coordinate negative seven, positive eight. Then again, you can kind of look like this would be your projector, projecting that bigger triangle, making it bigger. And you do not have to draw these dots and lines. I'm just trying to show you. I know it looks kind of messy at the end of it all. Um, I have, let me do, go quickly over um, this quadrilateral, and then I'm gonna make a separate video for the two circles. Um, so the quadrilateral, it's literally the same thing. The scale factor is honestly a little bit easier because you can count one of these sides because they're not all diagonals. So I could count and be like, oh, RQ is one, two, three, four, five, six. So RQ is six squares long, but RQ, R prime, Q prime is only two. So to do the scale factor, we do the new, the prime, over the old, the one without the primes. So we said this was two, and this is my newer shape, so it got smaller. So it'd be two over six. Oh, nice six. So two over six is one third. So my scale factor is one third. Oh, that's like really bothering me. Six, <laughs> two over six. But you could have counted any of them, um, and you would have gotten one third. So yes a third, it got a third the size it was. Um, real quick with the slope to get the center of dilation, um, you can check it with all four of them, but as soon as you see two of them cross, there's a good chance that's your center. So let's just say, again, big to small, I do the Q to the Q. So I'd have to go down two over two. Well, two over two reduces to one over one. So now I go right one over one, right one over one. And you can do it until you run out of graph or just, I always do like two or three at least. Then I could do the T to the T. Again, the big shape to the little shape. So I'd have to go down two, left two, which again, two over two reduces to one over one. So I'd have to go down two, left two, but that reduces to down one over one. So now those just overlapped. That means that point is my center of dilation. So that coordinate is, my chickies are going crazy over there. Can you hear them? There's three little chicks. They're little babes like sitting right next to me. Um, center of dilation. This brass one runs out of time because she's talking about chickens. Um, my center of dilation is right one down two. So one negative two. Oh no, Kim is crying on her. Poor babe. Okay. Um, so that's it for the first four. Hopefully it made sense. You can, of course, always rewrite this and, um, you know, replay anything you have to. I'm going to make another video. Can you say hi to my friend? Um, I'll make another video on the two circle ones.